Uh, I think it's a key role because uh, I don't think you can have uh, journalistic independence if you don't have financial independence. So the whole business side is absolutely key into ensuring the right environment for your newsroom to do properly its job. Uh, it becomes a problem when financial, uh, when you are assaulted financially and economically, and there the publishers have a, a tremendously tricky but also important role to play in finding ways and means of sustaining their their business to allow their journalists to do to, to do their their work. I think it probably uh, it will have, uh, I believe, a positive role for obvious reasons in, in Tunisia and Egypt uh, and all the countries. Uh, which were able to, uh, to, uh, to, to get rid of their authoritarian regimes, uh, it will, I think, also have a positive role on, on some of the other countries, and on Morocco in particular. It didn't happen yet, but I, we, we can see why the Moroccan regime will feel obliged to, uh, to provide a little bit more space uh, to, uh, to, uh, to the media uh, and to the society to breathe uh, given the pressure of the, of the Arab Spring. It didn't happen yet, uh, but uh, I, I believe that in the coming months we might, uh, it, could be, it could be harder for them to clamp down on the press as they used to do uh, before the Arab Spring. Well, when I give you this positive outlook about Tunisia and, and, uh, and to a lesser extent Egypt probably, uh, it was. I, I begin with the assumption that these countries will democratize. I mean, obviously, we are still in the in-between. It's not w clear whether these countries will, will totally democratize. In the case that they were able to democratize, I think that my my view will hold that you will have a diversified, free media landscape. Now. In the meantime, you know, the balls are in the air and, and, and we see that especially happening in, in, in Egypt where, where, where the army is still trying to control uh, the media, but you can also see that the society is pushing back, that, that, that those who have mobilized to get rid of Mubarak are also mobilizing to have a fear, uh, a public uh, agora. Uh, to me it was striking to hear and to see uh, the citizens in the streets asking for more dignity and asking also for more freedom of the press. And that was expressed in banners, in slogans, in the streets of Tunisia, in the streets of Egypt, which means that these public opinions have realized uh, the, the importance and the key role played by, by, by the media, uh, newspapers, TV, uh, etc. And I believe this is not something they forget tomorrow morning. I think they have they have completely acquired the notion that they need to have uh, uh, free media to, to hold their, their uh, state and, and, and power elites uh, accountable. Well, what happened to the journal hebdomadaire uh, and what happened in Morocco in general is that uh, in, in, the, in the 90s, uh, because the regime was, was somewhat liberalizing, politically speaking, which doesn't mean democratizing, but liberalizing, it provided a margin of maneuver for, for, for new independent media. That's how the journal was, was, was founded. And it was founded on the assumption that this trend will, will continue in the future. And that was the mistake, because this trend did not continue uh, uh, afterwards. And what we've seen is actually a back, a sliding back into a little bit more authoritarian and even more uh, authoritarian uh, attitudes and, and, and behavior from, uh, from the regime. And that translated uh, more precisely into more economic hardship for, for, for the media. So those, uh, these new independent organizations, which at some point had the economic breathing space to develop, all of a sudden uh, were stifled by, by, by the retraction of, of, this, of, this, uh, of this space. That's what led to the demise to the journal hebdomadaire, which, which, which ended up uh, collapsing uh, let's say economically, but it collapsed economically because it was assaulted politically. Uh, and the, the direct consequence of that is, is that most of the people who were trying, who were really uh, um, producing an independent journalism in the traditional media now are moving to, uh, to the internet uh, because of the, the cost base is, is much lower. Uh, they have very few revenues, but the hope is that these few revenues will be enough to finance uh, a newsroom and to produce uh, good journalism. So we, here, uh, uh, we, in the same fashion that in other countries we are in the in-between, in Morocco media-wise, we are in the in-between. We are in this, in this very 
uh, gray area where we're moving from traditional media towards new media. We're moving from uh, a tradition, uh, traditional business model that, is, that has collapsed to a new model which is not still there. Uh, and the hope is that we'll, we'll find uh, we'll find uh, we'll find this new we'll end up finding this new business model that will allow us to to produce some quality journalism uh, in Morocco. Well, it's 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 the the modern Angora. It's it's uh, it's uh, it's where people meet. It's where it's the breathing space of society. It's where people confront their ideas. It's where people. <laughs> Uh, it's it's the way for for the people to to hold their their regimes accountable for what they do, uh, and I I don't see a society being able to to survive without this this this, this space where, where where it is a society actually this is the space where the notion of society is uh, is, is actualized is 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 uh, becomes real. Uh, society means that that we talk to each other, that we confront each other, that we disagree, that. that we exchange ideas, that we, we, we change our views because we're exposed to other views. And that is done uh, in, the, in the modern world through, through the media. If you take out the media, and by media, I mean to me, free media and society is almost, a free society is almost an oxymoron. It's, it's, a, it's a euphemism. It's a, it has to be, uh, it has to be free by definition. Uh, so, uh, so I don't see the, a, a properly functioning society without uh, without free media.